Hello, I'm Sheila Davies, Director of the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services. Yesterday marked a rather extraordinary day as our department received its first shipment of COVID-19 vaccinations. Starting this week and continuing over the next couple of weeks, we will be vaccinating frontline healthcare workers whose duties put them at higher risk of exposure to COVID-19 or who are vital to the initial COVID-19 vaccine response. These are Priority Group Members 1A. We have been working hard to prepare for this and are excited to add this new tool to our COVID-19 defense toolbox. In time, everyone who wishes to receive a vaccine will be able to get the COVID-19 vaccinations at no cost. We ask for your patience as we work through the prioritization groups that we're required to follow according to NCDHHS. Please visit our website to follow the latest news on the COVID-19 vaccination efforts in Dare County, which includes which priority group we are currently vaccinating. If you are interested in following the total number of COVID-19 doses distributed in the United States, as well as the number of doses administered, you can find this information on the CDC website. As of yesterday, there were 4,624,325 doses distributed and 614,117 doses have been administered in the United States. The state has a similar vaccine reporting dashboard. As of this morning, 24,500 doses have been administered in North Carolina. Please note the COVID-19 vaccine is a two-dose vaccine, so the figures reflect the initial doses. The second dose is administered 21 or 28 days after the first dose, depending on whether you receive the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine. While the COVID-19 vaccination will be a powerful tool in time to help stem the COVID-19 pandemic, it is essential that we all continue to use the other tools of protection as this virus remains highly contagious and debilitating. Please follow the three W's, wear, wait, and wash to protect yourself and others. I have heard concerns that some people think these measures don't work. The claims are that if these tools were working, then we wouldn't be seeing the rise in cases we are seeing, not only in DARE, but across the state and nation. Many have stated they see great compliance with masks and social distancing when they go to stores or restaurants, which is wonderful and which may explain why we are not seeing any significant spread linked to those settings. But if you look at the predominant way the virus is spreading, you will find that in settings like homes and work, work conference rooms and break rooms, dinner parties, wedding receptions and funerals, we are not seeing good adherence to wearing masks and social distancing. Just this past week, out of our 113 new cases, 82 or 73 percent contracted the virus by direct contact in one of the above mentioned settings. Please understand this message is intended to educate, not shame or blame. It is human nature to want to gather with others, but what is not natural for us is wearing a mask or social distancing when we gather with our close friends, coworkers, and family members. These are typically the people we feel most comfortable with and safe with. But unfortunately, the data is showing us these gatherings are the major drivers of the increase in new COVID-19 infections. So please, if you are gathering with individuals outside of your immediate household, whether at work or at home, please practice the three W's. The total COVID-19 positive case count in Dare County is 1,423, of which there are 103 active cases among residents. Of the 1,423 cases, 934 are residents and 489 are non-residents. Currently, eight residents are hospitalized due to complications from COVID-19. Since the last Dare County Department of Health and Human Services update issued Friday, December 18th, there have been 95 new positive cases. Of the 95 new cases since December 18th, 70 are residents and 25 are non-residents. Of the 70 resident cases since Friday, December 18th, nine of the cases are connected. All are symptomatic and acquired the virus by direct contact with individuals whose positive test results were reported on 1215 and 1218. Three of the cases are connected. Two are symptomatic and one is asymptomatic. 
all acquired the virus by direct contact with an individual who tested positive on 1215. Two of the cases are connected. Both are symptomatic and acquired the virus by direct contact with an individual who tested positive outside of Dare County. Five of the cases are not connected. Three are symptomatic and two are asymptomatic. All acquired the virus by direct contact with individuals who tested positive outside of Dare County. 38 cases are not connected. 33 are symptomatic and five are asymptomatic. All acquired the virus by direct contact with individuals whose positive test results were reported between 12-8 and 12-19. 13 of the cases are not connected. 10 are symptomatic and three are asymptomatic. It is unclear how these individuals acquired the virus. Of the 25 non-resident cases since Friday, December 18th, 17 of the cases are not connected. 14 are symptomatic and three are asymptomatic. All acquired the virus by direct contact with individuals who tested positive outside of Dare County. Eight of the cases are not connected. Six are symptomatic and two are asymptomatic. It is unclear how these individuals acquired the virus. Contact tracing has been completed on 82 of the new cases and direct contacts provided by these individuals have been identified, notified, and directed to quarantine. We are working with the other 13 individuals to identify and notify their direct contacts. Each week, we review the four key metrics associated with disease investigation and surveillance. The metrics are number of tests, confirmed cases, positive test as a percent of total test, and COVID-like illness surveillance. This past week, there were 1,276 COVID-19 diagnostic tests performed in Dare County. This brings the total number of tests performed since early March to 24,228. There were 113 positive cases between December 14th and December 20th. The percent of positive tests to overall test in Dare County since we started testing in early March increased to 5.69%. The percent of positive tests to total tests for the past week alone was 8.86%. Syndromic surveillance of the emergency department and urgent care centers showed an increase in individuals presenting with COVID-like symptoms in the early part of last week. These graphs can be found on the Dare County website at darenc.com slash COVID-19. We encourage you to stay informed by visiting our website, darenc.com slash COVID-19, or by visiting the CDC or NCDHHS websites. If you have specific needs or questions, you may also call the Dare County COVID-19 Call Center, open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 252-475-5008. Thank you.